Galil's latest generation controllers come standard with opto-isolated outputs. Opto-isolation allows for the outputs to be electrically isolated from the controller. One of the biggest benefits to opto-isolation is that it prevents noise or voltage spikes on the output lines from affecting the controller's internal logic. In addition, it can also act as a buffer that protects the controller from any high voltages, shorts, or electrical damage that can occur on the output side. Here is a simplified wiring diagram of the syncing and sourcing options of the opto-isolated outputs. In syncing or low side configuration, the switch is placed between the load and ground. In sourcing or high side configuration, the switch is placed between the voltage supply and the load. The opto isolator is made up of an emitting diode and an optical receiver. When current flows between 3.3 volts and ground, the diode emits light and turns the receiver switch on. When no current is flowing, no light is emitted and the switch is off. As required for true opto isolation, the user must supply an external voltage to provide power to the load. Galil's opto-isolated outputs can be powered by placing 5, 12, or 24 volts on the output supply and the power supply ground to the output supply return. Opto-isolation can also be bypassed, meaning the outputs can be powered using the plus 5 volt and the ground reference on the controller. Even with an external supply, one may inadvertently bypass opto-isolation by tying the ground of the controller with the output supply return. The different current ratings also have different properties and internal switches that one should consider before ordering. The 4 mA syncing option uses a phototransistor as a switch. The 25 mA option in comparison uses a Darlington pair. The transistor used in the 4 mA has a lower current gain and a smaller voltage drop across it, whereas the 25 mA sync sourcing options have a higher current gain and a larger voltage drop. This results in two distinct behavioral differences between the two. First, the 4 mA option will have better response time, although timing is usually a non-issue for digital outputs. Second, the 25 mA syncing configuration may drive the voltage as only as low as 1.2 volts when the Darlington pair is saturated. This may be a concern for applications using the output for logic signaling. The 500 mA option also has its own unique properties. Although much more complicated internally, the syncing and sourcing options are wired in the same way as the syncing and sourcing options previously shown. One of the differences is that the switch type is an opto-isolator and a MOSFET. When off, the MOSFET acts as an open circuit, and when on, can be thought of as a very small resistor, about 0.1 ohms. Due to this property, the 500 mA syncing configuration drives the output voltage essentially to zero volts, an advantage over the 25 mA option. Another important distinction is that the high sourcing option has a minimum supply voltage of plus 12 volts, so it cannot be powered using the plus 5 volt reference of the controller. Here is a summary of the latest generation of Galil products and the various opto-isolated options and the defaults of each. For more information on opto-isolated outputs, please refer to the user manual for your specific controller or call an applications engineer if you have any questions.